Hello everybody, welcome to We've Played Baseball Stars Part 8. Because that last one was 7 Heaven. Oh yes, yeah, Baseball Stars 7, Baseball Stars in Heaven. Yes, I'm RT wearing a camouflage hat. Okay, here. And I just remarkably attractive with a camouflage hat. <laughs> you can't see my head! <laughs> Where's your head, man? <laughs> I only see like the bottom half, man. Your hair's gone. <laughs> he's got only. He's got no skull top. He's got no forehead. Skull top. Skull cap. Oh man. So we are in the beginning of league number four. Yes. And well, kind of. Started. We are. We're like in the middle. Because I've played a few rounds, as you can see. I've actually won a few games. So we have German Blitz at 5-2. and two. Yeah, this is best performance. So far. So far. Now there's still plenty of time to choke. <laughs> but, uh, played a lot offline. This is kind of more or less the, the last three-fourths of the season. We're going to have RT play a couple of rounds this, this episode. So, get you up to speed. Yep, and then we'll probably do another one with... Me playing one and you playing one at the end of the season. Okay. Lady J, Lady man, Jesus. seven fourteen in two games. Tick. Bastion. Ultron. There you go. Socks. Dirk. Roger. Abe. And the Brave Warriors. Abe. Abraham. I mean, he was a political warrior. He did lots of stuff. Socks. Yeah, but again, socks. What is that like? Somebody's cat named Socks? No, it's like a god or something. A Greek god of laundry. <laughs> got a new team. We got tired of playing the Japanese robins and the ghastly monsters. Yeah. We were gonna have a little thing happen to them. Yeah, we were gonna do something, but <laughs> we are both family individuals that. Don't have a lot of time sometimes. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's dads. So true. Dads. Family individuals. <laughs> we all were born. <laughs> get there. No. Get down. Get down. Lady J. Maybe she's batting 714. Especially since she always gets hit by a bitch. Groovy. <laughs> I stood right there. Like every game. Oh, she's, she's gonna, gonna get hit. She's gonna get hit. That's so close. <laughs> Every time, man. Every time. It's like... <laughs> oh! Over Couldn't even head. try to, like, <laughs> pitch a strike. Was no it was no attempt. It was It was like... no attempt. Oh, boy. He, he was determined to hit Lady J. Yeah. It's like 3-0. Oh, I think I'll throw it even <laughs> farther into her. Even further. Oh, get oh. out of here! Get the crap out of here! Alpine or Zartan? There you go, Alpine. Alpine was he your first? He was my first GI Joe I ever ever had. And there's a picture of me holding it up, and I'm like, <laughs> the hell? Like, Alpine was like a four-year-old boy holding up this toy. He was a first series. No, he was four. Holy cow! Series one was like really boring. They all were in like olive drab different yeah. colors. Or the Snake Eyes figure, which they're like, let's save money and just leave the primer on this figure. And it's like the most popular figure. Scarlet, they had Scarlet. She was series one. There was Clutch. What's the Clutch What's the dude that had the, the red? vehicle driver. Um, Laser. So they had Grand Slam. Came with like a like like a missile launcher pod type of thing. This is but, Series 1. But he had gold. So that's not the guy you're talking about. No, I'm telling um, He's like, he was listed as like a laser dude and he had like a red vest and he had like red... Oh yeah, that's... Uh, that's... that's God, I'm, I'm like tripwire? No. no. 
Alright, we got freaking Zap, who's the bazooka guy. We got Grunt, who's the infantry. Hawk, we got Breaker, we got Snake Eyes, we got Stalker, we got uh, Short Fuse, who's like the mortar launcher guy. Scarlet. Like I said, Scarlet. Dude, I was just Dude working who on is that video. guy? I was just working on him. I was just working on him. Because there's, there's two versions of him. Flash! Flash, Flash. is, Flash is one of them. Just, there's another guy with just red. Just left to get my phone to see if I can find him. Oh, excuse me. There's another guy with red, though, too. It has just a different head. Flash. Yeah, I was watching. The Weather Dominator series. That one's that's a good one. That's a little like I've, I I watched. Good. I, I well, good. the what thing is, is like you watch like the the episode of like the Mass Device, which is like season one, episode one. Yeah, it, it's like it's hard to watch, kind of. It's only like series ones and twos figures. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not so much the figures; it's just the way the animation and stuff. It. It was just—it was just hard to watch when you're so used to watching nowadays animation and everything, and then you go and watch that, and it's very choppy. And it's... I like that choppy shit, though. I mean, that's the stuff. That's yeah. the ticket, Roger. Everybody's cup of tea, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, I watched the Weather Dominator, and those are like my favorite ones. That whole series, because it kind of had like every. How come you didn't get, like, how come Duke didn't get hit? That would have been Lady J. Oh, yeah. She would have been on the ground crying. She would have been on her keister. Oh. But, like, the, the Weather Dominator series is a good one to watch. Just because I feel like they include every G.I. Joe. At the time? At that time. Mm -hmm. Like, each one had some part. Clutch had a big part when he wasn't that big. Most of the time. The one that I still... Destro is so hilarious in that. Is Destro. Like, I just need a few Dude. more times to find my parts for the Ion the, Correlator! The Baroness is freaking crazy when it goes to, like, the Island of No Return and she gets stuck in, like, that whirlpool. Oh, and yeah. And they just show a picture of her. She's just like, ah! Did, like, I didn't watch the very last episode. I got a four in or five in. I think it's like a six-episode series. No, it's five. Well, then it must be the only four in, because I did not watch the very last one. The one I really liked was when they played frickin' hockey for that one part. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't retreat, Cobra Attack! <laughs> Duster will, like, laugh for, like, four or five seconds. Do, like, the whole, like... Body shake and laugh. You know, the same line he says over and over, like, Now, OJ doesn't stand a chance! <laughs> like, no, I gotta follow your plans, man. Yeah, he does like that. Yeah. <laughs> there's one scene I remember in particular where it's like, there's three different animations of the dude, like, laughing. He's like, down here, he's like, <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> and he's like, up here. <laughs> Awesome. So that's like us going, ha 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 ha
what do they call it? I guess canon, I guess is the term, to be like the, the truest thing for stuff. Yeah. Like, Hasbro and like Marvel entered into an agreement where Hasbro had these toys they wanted to sell. And they're like, okay, well, let's write a comic to support it. That's how that was born. So they kind of came out intermittently. And the original series was like mostly like just vehicles they, they wanted to do that but then they're like well we need people to like pilot these vehicles so that's how like the figures came out and i guess it took off that the figures were just more like popular than the vehicles although the vehicles were sweet like there's always a lot of vehicles like, every year that they came out so to get with back to that like the iron grenadiers are probably introduced in the comic at like 70, issue 70 or something like that. Figured 12 in a year, started in like 82 or 3. And so Hasbro, they would come up with like a prototype for a character and then they would pitch it to Larry Hama, who was the writer of the comic. And he would kind of like, he'd be like chief consultant and he'd have like naysay abilities. Like a lot of the times they wanted to like have another like bazooka trooper or something or like another laser trooper and they're like well why don't you just have the same trooper but like a different outfit and so that's how well that's like different... where the tiger force came from and... well it's like mostly like you know how roblox got like a different outfit on yeah. in like series five yeah and so that's what they did that instead of making another heavy machine gunner they just like well let's just get a different outfit and it worked for the most part like those can those figures sold like nobody's like oh, I already have Roblox. I don't want to get the cool one with the different machine gun right. and the different well, yeah they had like Roadblock in his actual like but marine I, garb too that was, that was gung ho but I did oh. do that with the Tiger Force people I'm like I already have no I actually because I got the Tiger Force but I didn't have the originals I missed out on that uh, because I was a little bit young for the first couple of series but when Tiger Force came out, I was like 6'7", so I was like, I can't handle yeah. this. So then I got Duke and Spirit. Yeah. Or Spirit was a, another different thing. They, they were called Slaughter's Marauders. And they were the same Oh, there figure. was like, what was it, like Red Bull or Red Dog or something like that? And that's the only one I can remember. No. Because didn't he have like a, a red shirt? So that's that's like his people that he was training for the G.I. Joe movie. Yes, the Slaughter's Marauders. Oh, well, maybe I don't know. You would know better than me. Yeah, I, just remember, I just remember the one guy. The, He'd call them the Renegades. The Renegades. Yeah, that's what they were called there for that. Because, yeah, I just remember the one guy in red, and he was, like, either Red Dog or Red Bull. I can't remember. Red Dog was the black dude that was in football. Football guy. Like, I kicked out, yeah, for necessary roughness. Then Mercer was the ex-Cobra Viper. Oh, we had the red that. vest on and like flat top, and then the other guy was a circus like entertainer acrobat <laughs> guy from Russia. <laughs> a Borshkovich. Yeah, it's like let's throw in the. Yeah, and I didn't Russian. know too. Like even doing all this reading, like they had like the October Guard, like the Soviet Union version of GI Joe, but yeah. they only had like one figure for him. Because I remember watching an episode, I don't remember what episode it was, you would know, but it's like, oh, we even have, like, the Red Guard helping us from the Soviet Union, and, like, the guy sh like, shows up on the screen, he's like, yeah, Bolsheviks, or something like that. Oh, yeah, 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 Big Big Ben or something. Big Bear? It was, like, a Russian dude. Russian figure. It's just interesting. It's the like October some of that Guard, yeah. It's yeah, just some of that stuff I didn't even know knew was a thing. Like, Height of the Cold War. Mm. Wow, I'm surprised that dropped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 80s, Height of the Cold War. G.I. Joe is working with the October Guards! <laughs> it might have been the mass device, was it? No. Could have been. Um, it was something else. They were in Arise, Arise Serpentor, Serpentor Arise. Arise. Yeah. We always come back to that series. They're in that shit. Oh! Like, get out of here, Alpine! Oh. Yes, dude! Ow, he's really hitting it this year. 
dingers. Mountain time. I'm working on him now, actually. I paint him up. Uh, he just needed fresh paint. And, uh, what did I do to just fresh paint. Oh no, I had to strip some paint off of him. Because I had, I had two of them. And the one I like gave to my son because he had this like raggedy ass like somebody repainted his boots a different color. It's probably me actually. <laughs> but uh so then I had to take that that off. Soak it in brake brake fluid. Oh god. And it comes off. Jeez. Ooh, that's good. But so I was putting them together and he comes with a pickaxe, he comes with a little like submachine gun, comes with a backpack. And he comes with a these two grappling hooks. I'm like, okay, sweet, no problem. Um, I got those. So I looked in my stash, and sure enough, it's not his grappling hooks. It's two other dudes that have grappling hooks. So I'm like, damn it! I had nine grappling hooks too, and none oh of them were his. So I had to go online there, twenty bucks to get his. So worth it though. Yeah, there's, there's some people on Instagram I follow that do the same thing you're doing, but when they don't have, like, the guns or anything, they have their 3D printers. Bastards. They, I, watched, I watched a guy, like, I watched a guy make, like, that one picture I sent you of the bats. Like, he made a bat figure out of the 3D printer, and then all he did was paint it. And that's the same thing as that one that I sent you where he, like, made and you're like oh it looks like bat paint or like bat boots and mm -hmm. like he hodgepodge this character together but mm -hmm. he 3d printed most of his stuff and then like assembled it with screws and everything that's pretty amazing he made his own like made his own um, packaging the only thing he didn't oh. have was like the picture like he didn't have like the classic G.I. Joe picture with the red it just had like mm -hmm. An opening, kind of like he found the backdrop for the GI Joe like explosion before they're coming out of like the packaging. It looks mm -hmm. like, yeah, and he so would cool. seal it, and then he made like his own. What was it the classification card or file card? card yep. That's freaking rad. But yeah, there's a lot of guys on there that kind of do what you do is put them all together and put them back in the packaging and everything. Yeah. That's cool. But that dude... I mean, he could probably seriously make some bucks just selling the replicas for, you know, 50% oh, nice. the cost. I mean, I'd pay for it. Uh, I'm sure. I mean, I'm not huge. I don't care if it's... I don't care yeah, if it's like, original stuff. <laughs> yeah, three more wow. runs. That's how I feel about the games. Like, I don't care if they're a repo, I just want to play it. Yeah. <laughs> well, plus, once I repaint anything or touch it up, it, like, loses its, like, oh, yeah. value. Auth authenticity. Yeah. For all the purest out there. Yeah. I'm like, dude, I'd rather have a cool-ass figure in here that looks like it came looks right nice. out of the factory. Yeah, I agree. So, not to that, that. All right, well, that's them swiped and brushed under the rug. Swiped and diaped. How much is it? 21 minutes? I mean, should we play another play? one or yeah, should we? Okay. No problem. We're gonna have RT play another one just so we get to come up a little bit. So this is uh, gonna be an RT heavy episode. <laughs> well, you're in it too. <laughs> well, nobody likes watching me lose all the time, so. Didn't you like 10 run these bastards last Oh, uh, yeah, but. That was like the first time I've won a game, I think, during this whole series. Well, maybe last couple episodes I actually won a game. But... Alright, so this is the Deadly Droids. Here's T-1000. Man, he's sure can pitch it fast. Yeah. He's got a cannon. Maybe Jay is gonna get drilled. He's trying, man. Got like a nice curve too. Oh yeah, you're done now. T1 Grand. This team's pretty decent. Yeah, they are. They're kind of tough. Their weakness is like the last two batters, where I think it's like Johnny Five and Gort. 
or from freaking Orc. <laughs> I don't know why I always say that. Gort from New York, I think you said last time. Yeah, they're like, they're like weak hitters. Are they? Yeah. Oh! Third hand goes bye bye. Oh, it wasn't Lady J, but. Oh! Dude, it's like five <laughs> straight home runs or something. Four oh. straight home runs. Oh, flying baby. Oh, what are you doing? What did you eat for breakfast, man? Jeez. Freaking Wheaties, that's for sure. It's gonna be on the Wheaties box. Start my day with a big bowl of Wheaties. You should look at a picture of Alpine on his carded figure, like the artist rendition, and then the skeet shooter from Track and Field on the Nintendo. It's the same face <laughs> when, he, when, he, when he doesn't get a qualifying score. He's like. Check it out, it's like, check those it are out. like the twins or whatever. I'll check it out and put it up for you. He sent me that, like, uh, buzzer and like, whatever that dude was. Uh, buzzer and the king of the hill guy. The neighbor. Oh. Oh my gosh, I was just watching king of the hill too. Dale? Yeah. Gribble? Dale. You've only played three games. Yeah, it's not after the very quick start. I don't know. Nice. This dude seems to always hit right around 250. It's kind of your average run of the mill, dude. Mm -hmm. Nice one. That totally hit me. Hit me, man. Hit me in the jimmy! <laughs> <laughs> Gosh! <laughs> Gonna have to have another montage of hit by the pitch. I think the T1000 is confused and yeah. who he's supposed to terminate. <laughs> <laughs> terminate John Connor! Have you seen this guy? No, it's not the right guy! <laughs> Stop it! There you go! For a dinger! Wow! I thought I was gonna curve right into the bat. Go. 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 There he is. Oh, there he is. Not giving him any cheese. Something. Ah. Mm. He's doing pretty well for himself. Yeah, two of his home runs are on me, that's for sure. But like a couple nights ago while I was working, I had this play in the background, like I had the AI play each other and just Instead of having it just like auto skip, I actually had them play the game. And I think yeah. it was the droids versus the warriors. And that came down to pretty. Oh, he's fast! Nice. And it came down to like the last two innings. And then it was just Homer after Homer after Homer after really? Homer from the droids. Holy cow! Somebody's programming kicked in. Like, I think Ultron even hit one of those where it 
It's either Ultron or T-800, but it did one of those, like, oh, and like you, never, you never heard it come down. It just did the boop, and then just the screen went by. And the then, camera can't catch up. It's yeah, the like, camera couldn't ah. keep up. It was just a blur, and it didn't even it didn't even make a sound for coming down. I was like, oh, okay. Somebody uh, decided to show off a little bit at the last minute. Gort has two home runs, but he's not. He's got like a hitting of like six. What's his right? I think it's six or five. Mm -hmm. He's not supposed to be a good hitter batter, but he <sighs> hits him out of the park. Yeah, I don't know why the computer does that. Like, I can't hit a home run with a guy unless it's like 10 I, or 11 or 12 well, or something. I haven't been able to hit a home run with anybody unless it's over 14. Hey, <laughs> That ain't true. Disclaimer, false. <laughs> maybe Bastion. Maybe he had a 10 when it first started, but... They're getting homers with guys that don't have any skills. HK47. Took him out. Oh, thank gosh they didn't put Render. in that last guy. Isn't that last dude wicked? Mm, purple cop. Yeah, isn't he got? Is he? Who's wicked? Bender. Is it Bender? Shit. Well, Fuggo in according to he did ride. Blah 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 blah. Something Bender is great. Ultron. You got nothing, pal. Oh, gosh, you just it's dribblers. That's what you got, Bender. That's five straight home runs with that guy. Dude, he's really eating the... So instead of putting like sugar on his weed, he's just, just add a little steroid mix. Ready, ready whipped steroids? <laughs> Is it in like a whipped cream version? I never leave my house without, my, without eating a big bowl of Wheaties with steroids. Public service announcement. Yeah, no, just you want to get better baseball. <laughs> Do steroids. <laughs> Annoying is half the battle. <laughs> In fact, just do them anyway. Just do them anyways, because you'll feel better about yourself. <laughs> Minus the point where you just get angry about everything. <laughs> Get it 
out of here! Go! It's not going. It's not going. Oh. Warning track. That was too close! <laughs> that was pretty close. <laughs> what a bunt. Get there! Oh my gosh. Oh, I tricked him out. Like you said last episode, we're just gonna keep bunting with a quick kick. Mm -hmm. Do you like your fastest, dude? Yeah. Yes, baby! You were on the corner of the street. Yes! That's true for him in this game, isn't it? Uh, yes. Get him out of here! Yeah, these guys you should be able to clobber. Six for Alpine. Here comes another one. Dude, it's five in a row, that's for sure. Wow. Dude, I'm never, I don't think I've ever done that. That's crazy. <laughs> you see me like, like throwing so you like throw your body into that. Dude, I'm totally getting one. <laughs> Damn uh. it. Shouldn't have wasted it. <laughs> uh. Oh, he's got an arm. I was doing like the, yeah, the old Throw your body the into old person it. like <laughs> Like when you're playing a racing game and you gotta turn the controller to of the wheel like, hmm, I think we're on to something. <laughs> Baseball's the only sport where you'll, you'll see fat umpires, too. Like, fat referees and stuff. Don't it's, see them in basketball. Not, yeah. Don't see them in hockey. <laughs> there's a lot of, yeah, physical activity that those guys gotta do. Yeah. But, you know, there's even... Oh, no. You'll see some bigger baseball players, too. That's, that's true. Because you won't nec Baseball is not necessarily a physique sport, I guess. Yeah, that's the right yeah. word. It's a different body than like a basketball. Because you could, you board. could be a. There's even uh, actual players that have done well and have been fairly larger size. Yeah. But there is a guy like in what, 2010 that played for the Mets that I remember. He was a pitcher, but he was like the dad bod pitcher. His, like name was like Cologne or Colin or something like that, and he had. He was a wicked pitcher, and he would also hit some pretty good dingers, but you know, he was, he was a beefy dude, not in a muscular way. There was even a guy on the Twins that's like a short, round dude that plays pretty well. Wow. I don't that, know. that was pretty amazing. I don't that wanna, was interesting. I don't want to bust that out yet till the end here, as we progressed. That was interesting. Like the computer didn't know what to do. Yeah. Here's dumb. <laughs> Surprised I didn't get the he, force out though. Yeah, I was just gonna say. Like, uh, why did I was literally just gonna say, why did you have to run after him? Because he didn't have anywhere to go. Right. Wow. Yeah. You, 
surprised my Xbox didn't blow up. Ay, 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 ay. Yes, this is emulated. Said the forge. But Serana in. Serana? I didn't know it was you! I need a righty because they got some lefty. Oh man, it's been a while since you played the Ripper. Ripper. <laughs> Though. Dropping my goo. So all you needed to do was get on base. Are you bunting? Nah. Not they'll, throw it. they'll throw it right there. <laughs> Good thing that third baseman's slow. Lady J! Lady J's gonna get hit. I can't wait to cart, recart her. She's a fun figure. Comes with like a camera. Like What's her background? Um, you know what? Whenever I recard them, I, I read the file card, you know, in oh, depth. So you have so I, I don't. I mean, I did recard her at once. I think she's like super educated. She's not like Cover Girl. Cover Girl was like a model. That's like Cover Girl. Cover Girl is like undercover. Is Lady Jane undercover? Can't remember. Can't remember. Comes with a spear gun and a backpack. And the figure looks nothing like the cartoon. cartoon. Yeah, no. Because she has a hat, because they couldn't do short hair for whatever reason. I think they were working with like hard plastic all the time. Yeah, because Scarlet it has like short, weird hair. Mm -hmm. And she's the only G.I. Joe figure to not have peg holes on her boots. Oh, for like, st uh, for standing? No, yeah, from like mounting on a vehicle yeah. or something. It doesn't have tight holes. Interesting. Like, what? She's like designated driver. Chica. Oh, they're putting in five minutes at Freddy's. I don't know what to do. I don't know who to grab it with. Oh. Yeah, I hate that. They hit it in that perfect sweet spot where doesn't even pick the right guy for it. They don't even know. Blooper and Magoo. They're making some MK errors. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Spinning, baby! What do you got? Oh, throwing in their weak-ass closer, for whatever reason. Yeah, Robocop's not that good. I remember making him, and I was like, Ah, I'm tired of making guys. This guy's gonna suck. <laughs> Rob Cop. Concentrate, Danielson. That should have been a hit. There you go. Oh, nice. Cool figure too. He's got tattoos on him, and they sell like decals to replace one of like tattoos on people and stuff. Mine's in pretty good shape. I don't need to do that. Dang it. Um, let's see. I did that on like the his tank driver, Cobra guy, who would have a 
white tattoo and is is notorious for just wearing it off like immediately. And the one I got him the one I got as a replacement wasn't really an identical match, but again, like it looks good and came with the his tank, so technically he's not even a card figure anyway, but there's a company that makes nice, um, like repos, fake ones like that. Gone, do it. But trooping, oh my gosh. We haven't seen troop forever. I think I leveled Since up like this... episode one, I think was the last time we saw troop. <laughs> I think I leveled him up one time. Probably the end of the first league that we did. I think that was the same time you released Grunt. They got his number dialed in if they can straighten it out. Oh! Dang! Troop with the save! Within a couple of runs, you have to do that. Yeah, I always thought it was five. Oh. But I, never, I don't know what the rule is. I think it's two. 59,000. Nice. Well, let's see these quick. Alpine jumps up there. Dark we got Dirk, Dirk and Olga, Olga and Bastion. 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 Oh, yeah, we're in the. Now it's a race. The six homer club. Dirk a dirk. Socks. He's, he's breaking out. It's kind of, kind of close. Dirk's still out there now. Yeah. Also shows because I improved my pitching a little bit in the off season, so Hans got better. Oh. Uh. Clark Kent with the. Comic Marvels! Duke and Destro, and I have Hans up there. I think Billy's Billy the Kid. Brave Warriors. That's the only one I could think of. Like, I don't, I don't know who some of those... Benji? I always keep thinking of the dang dog. It's gotta be. Really? Uh, it's spelled wrong. Is it? Yeah, because it's J-I. J-Y. <laughs> but I guess it, you know, it is... Japanese-made game, so who knows. Alright, well that closes this episode of We've Played Beach Bash Dash. We're done. Part 8. Part 9 coming soon. Part 8. It's like, let's see here. 8. Yep. Is that sign language?